Lexi's fake. She got the same makeup. Base. How is that fake? I just was inspired. Hey guys, it's Anna and Lexi, and we're back with another YouTube video. If you didn't already see the title of this video, we are doing a prep for finals with us. I did a poll on my Instagram asking if this is something you guys would want to see because I know a lot of you are in school like we are, whether it's high school, college, grad school, whatever it may be. And we're just going to take you along some things we do to prep and just make sure that we have a healthy balance between studying and de-stressing throughout our finals week. To start, we're just going to get ready. Just do some skin prep and skin care. Feel good, perform well, so I'm just going to do a, just a little bit of makeup. Just because we're going to leave our apartment to go study. Also, I do want to note that like, as much as I do love studying like in my own place, it's also really nice to like go branch out and go to different cafes because I find that I am more productive in another environment that I'm not used to. And I feel like, as Anna would say, I like dilly dally in my like home environment. So I just feel like going other places and going to like areas where other people are also being productive makes me want to be more productive and not like get distracted and whatever. Just wanted to say that because I always feel like we get so much done when we go to when like, we go to other places. Other places. But I feel like that's with a lot of people. Yeah. To start, I'm I shopped the Sephora sale and I got the Save Beauty O Dew Drops. And I absolutely love them. I have the drunk elephant ones as well, but I just feel like these blend like so much better and give me just a little bit of glow. And then what you saw go in with in the beginning was this little Tower 28 spray. They actually were so nice enough to send me that and I actually really like it. I like it a lot. I just figured we'd share with you some of our makeup, skin prep, little study stuff, just a little something something to make us feel more productive and better about ourselves because I know if I feel confident and just a little bit more pretty I'm gonna get more stuff done. I went in with the Hydro Grip e.l.f. primer because I really like that. I'm gonna go in with the NARS concealer just on some blemishes and my eye bags. Our biological grandma and our auntie visited this past weekend and it was so much fun. It was so great to see them because the last time that we had seen them was when we graduation party. <coughs> <coughs> You literally got me sick. No, I didn't, because I didn't sound like that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. It. Anyways, they came up this past weekend, and we just, you know, like, caught up <laughs> and talked about life. It's really nice, because like I said, we hadn't seen them in a while, and I really hope that we can see each other again this summer. I mean, we're really busy, but I also know they're really busy, and we don't really live as close as we used to to them, so, yeah. It was it was really nice to see them. Obviously, you miss your grandma and your auntie, so it's like. So I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty blush and hope. Okay, I go in with Joy. I like this. You look a little bit more of an orangey blush, I think. But I do. That Milani blush, I like that orangey tint one. I, if I had to, like, always do one thing, it would make sure my eyebrows would be, like, in check. And mine, I did a little bit more today because I'm going to see Devin after because he's getting, he's starting his arm sleeve. Um, actually, it was kind of scary because his artist was like, yeah, like, are you coming? And he was like, what? And I guess the artist got the dates mixed up. He scheduled up for May 26th. But the artist came in today and he's like, you know what, like, fuck it, I'll just do it today. So, that's kind of exciting. Okay, so the next note that we're going to address is what to wear when you're studying. Because I feel like if I'm wearing something that is super constricting, something that I don't feel like I look good in, something that is comfortable, I'm going to get annoyed and I'm going to be like, I need to change, I need to go home. Like, like I just, I don't like what I'm wearing. So, I mean, we normally just wear sweatsuits when we go to study. But if that's leggings and a sweatshirt for you, so be it. But like, that's a whole outfit or whatever because this is your social time or being around people so be it just do whatever floats your boat yeah and do what you know you're comfortable in so as Lexi was saying what you're wearing um I feel like really does dictate for us our how well our study sesh goes so I'm just wearing this gray outfit as you can see I like very baggy very comfortable very loose fitting I just don't like feeling restricted in any way both of these pieces are from Savage X Fenty just their lounge and I'm actually obsessed with it I'm normally Live in Honor or Aritzia sweatsuits, but this, I got it the other day, and this is something else for me. Like, this is chef's kiss of loungewear, and I just like the way it fits. Like, I just feel like a, like a, a housewife mom, I don't know, walking around doing chores, but yeah. It's a grout fit. I got new Crocs, so I'm gonna wear the Crocs, and they match my bra, actually. Oh, that'll be cute. I didn't even realize that until now, but... Yeah, I'm just wearing a zip up because honestly, I might get hot while walking and I just, 
I just want a little air. And then I'm just wearing the sweatpants because I just want to be comfortable again. This whole set is Honor Active. It's their classic lounge. And if you would like to shop it, we have our links in our description. I get a large in the sweatshirt, and then I normally get an extra large in the sweats. And then I'm wearing the Skims a soft round shorts underneath too because I, I got to be comfortable. So that's the fit. It's super cute and comfy. Well, I have packed my book bag already. This is actually the bag that I normally use for the gym. Um, I normally bring my tote bag, but because we're... Actually, are you using your tote bag? Yeah. Oh. Well, I just use my... I'm just going to use my backpack because I already packed it. But I have a water bottle, which I'm going to fill with water. This is from Honor Active. It's actually really cute. and holds a lot more water than it looks like. And I have lip gloss. <clears throat> I have an extra charger. Like, I find that, you know, being prepared even when you're studying is, like, good. Because then, like, you don't forget anything or you don't have your laptop dying. And then I just packed everything I needed. I brought a book with me, my iPad, and then my computer. So, yeah, I just find that, you know, also bringing headphones because I be listening to music and stuff or you watch lecture videos or whatever you need to and you just don't want other people hearing your biz. So, I got my headphones that I'm going to pack as well. That's my book bag. Actually, maybe I'll put everything in my tote bag. Okay, so you guys just saw Lexi pack her bag. I pretty much packed mine the same way, um, just in a different tote bag. But now I'm going to pack our snacks and beverages. I normally like to have two beverages, water and coffee. That's just my staple. I normally like to just have water, plain and simple, and some sort of caffeinated drink to get me through this session. And I also get hungry, and then I also will be saving money and not feel tempted to buy Chick-fil-A or Starbucks or Caribou or whatever because all of those are in such close proximity. So yeah, um, also it's kind of fun too because you can like do cutesy little snacks and they're probably healthier if you were buying something. So I already have this big water bottle and I'm just gonna probably put some ice and a little bit more water in it because I'm actually one of the few people who like room temp water. I like don't mind it like I prefer it over ice cold because I get brain freezes really easily and then I feel like I can't chug it so let's put some ice make the coffee pack the snacks favorite coffee I love the I don't know how to say it but I like any type of this or I like the breeze my coffee can change but I swear to god this is what makes it taste good it's the Giovanni oat coffee creamer in vanilla and it's actually plant-based so it doesn't have any dairy because I y'all know ever since we moved up here I've been really sensitive to dairy so I'll just add this in I will say though, coffee is still not as good as it was in London. Perfect. And then all these little can cups came with lids on Amazon. I know Lex and I have them both linked in our storefront, so definitely check them out. But the beverages are secured. Now as far as food goes, I keep it really simple. I like a lot of prepared stuff already, so Lex and I are probably both going to bring an Uncrustable. I'm going to bring these overnight oats thing. It's just a little cute thing. I don't know. I like it. And then probably just a granola bar. And that should be good because this will be a pretty long study sesh. But I'm going to be having dinner. So I don't want to like eat too much and be full. So yeah. We got the beverages and the snacks. I'm just going to pack some organic corn puffs. Those are from Target. Those are really good. But then I'm also going to pack two of these fiber one bars. <laughs> Not only do they have a lot of fiber, but there's only five grams of net carbs and two grams of sugar. And this is the coffee cake one. And Anna and Devin love it. And then I'm also going to bring this one too because I know myself and I'm going to be pissed if I don't bring more. All right. So this is the final bit. I just, uh, I literally just have slippers on because I normally like to sit crisscross when I study. And Lexi, ooh, you got your tote bag? Yeah, and look at my Crocs, you guys. They're so cute. Look at that baby bubba. It's so cute.
It is really nice out. Okay, um, so we got here. We made it to the place that we are studying at. We are going to do some studying and we're going to do 30 minutes on, 5 minutes off. We find that it's very important to take breaks, you know, stretch, whatever, stand up. Because your brain is being very physical but your body isn't. And that's what we find works best for us. You know, if you want to study for an hour and then take 10 minutes off, whatever you want to do and whatever works for you. So I'm gonna do some reviewing and summarizing after those 30 minutes as well. I'm um, just to recap on everything that I learned and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'll hey! Cooking up dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get gang. Grab me a river, keep you with this. Bad and bush, bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. Bah. My niggas are savage, roof. We got cutters and hunter rounds, too. My bitch is bad and bush, bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. No. My niggas are savage, roof. Hey. We got cutters and hunter rounds, too. Around and around and around. I take your feet right from you, bitch. I'm a dog. Beat on her walls, loose. Hop in the fall. I said that shit to come come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. The hate and the devil keep jumping me. Back rows on me, keep me coming. Hey, who did the most? Most, yeah. Pull up and go. Yeah, my diamonds are choker. Holding up, I with no holster. Bring your bruise, I'm diamond cooler. Cool. Yeah, this a roller, not a mule. So Lexi and I just got back and um, after our long study sessions I personally like to be a little bit more active or like do my workout after but I already worked out today so Devin like I said is getting his tattoo so I'm actually gonna go meet him and go on a little refreshing hot girl walk outside because it's actually really nice out today because that week that it was so nice out 80 degrees we were tanning it was so nice and then it was shit last week like 30 and rainy and snowy and now it's what'd you say 54 yeah it's 54 it's supposed to be 70 tomorrow yeah so i'm gonna go on a little walk I'm back from my little hot girl walk and um, I'm just gonna take off my makeup and Lexi and I are gonna just make some quick food and relax we're literally making like instant ramen we don't really feel like cooking tonight but I know we talk about self-care in like literally every video but I just feel like it's something Lexi and I have really started to prioritize because it just it's good for our mental health because I know lately we've been dealing with like a lot of anxiety and social anxiety and I've never really been an anxious person so like this has been really hard for me it's hard for me to like leave my apartment and even like going to the gym and working out it's just really hard to be around people because I hate being stared at I hate being over sexualized it makes me really upset I'm not really fond of that just because I'm always like scared now. I don't know if it's living in the cities. I don't know if it's just from being harassed in person and online more recently because of like what I look like. Even dealing with how people treat me differently. Like it's kind of mind blowing like having somebody come up to you. And like I live on a college so like these people like men and women are just like not mature. And like I get it, it's like oh you hear somebody's on TikTok and stuff and like don't get me wrong, like I'd probably like be like oh my god too, but like just the way I'm approached sometimes is interesting. I don't know, like I even had just a really bad encounter and like I don't tolerate disrespect so I had a really bad encounter with the guy this past weekend, like he was just really rude. And then after I ended the conversation abruptly because I was like okay I'm not going to be talked to like this. Um, before he leaves he's like yeah it was like really nice meeting you like going out of his way to come up to me and i was like i actually can't say the same like fuck off because our first encounter literally ended terribly because 
he was just rude and I was like yeah like I'm not gonna listen to you talk to me like this like I need to go meet my friends literally what I said and then he had the audacity to come up to me and just say that like I don't know and I know it's something that like literally all all women all women have had an experience with but it's just so frustrating like I can't wrap my head around it like it gives me social anxiety I hate going out I hate like that I literally can't have a fun time outside of my apartment without having pepper spray or a taser or my birdie or really anything and it's like kind of terrifying when you think about it and I don't know if it's just because I've been watching a lot of crime shows like it's really not I enjoy them but it's just because they're based off of like true stories and it's just kind of scary in the grand scheme of things so I know Lexi and I have kind of been dealing with that a lot lately partly like I don't want to say it's our fault but like in the beginning when we first started social media we didn't know that you could monetize your content and we kind of just did whatever to get views but like we've mentioned before we learned really quickly that that's we just didn't want to hit that audience that's not our it's not our jam i'm not gonna put it on my toast um like if you do like only fans or whatever like no shame the game get your bed but i just feel like i'm so young and like that's just not the route that i wanted to take I wanted to motivate, influence, and just promote like healthy living and lifestyle, wellness, fitness. Even like I've been doing more like beauty and lifestyle on my accounts because that's just like what I enjoy. And it's what I know my audience enjoys as well, but can't shake the, the male gaze sometimes. And it's just really frustrating. And I just have a lot of anxiety from it because I just people forget at the end of the day like Lex and I are still people. I'm pretty, I'm a pretty strong minded person. Like I don't, my feelings aren't really hurt easily. Like I'm blunt, I expect it back. Like I don't really think, take things personally, but and being on my own now and wanting to go, wanting to have a good time, but letting stuff like that ruin it is just like so bothersome. But final conclusion, I want to start seeing a therapist. Lexi and I saw a therapist when we were younger for a long time and I just feel like it'd be nice to like talk to somebody and like just get input on like how to handle it because it's definitely new like I just I don't know I just recently that's my little rant it's not directed towards you by any means I literally love you guys like you guys are my outlet and you all feel like my best friends like y'all just we're like this I just I don't know and I I literally like I know I'm not the only one so I'm sorry if any of you guys have had to go through anything along the lines of what I was talking about or even worse like it shouldn't scare me to leave my apartment for that reason we're gonna go relax because that's been really helping the stress relief tea Lexi and I Lexi bought four boxes of it because she's taking ashwagandha and then She'll just like drink the stress relief tea and that's actually really been helping and I think Lexi's just gonna make us noodles like I stated before, but yeah. Alright you guys, sorry this video might have been like not as long as you're used to, but it's just we're so stressed during finals and we're just trying to share some tips and some things that we do that help us not only for the final itself, but also to take a little bit of that mental stress off. Um, I feel like we're very type A people, so even like our studying needs to be planned and organized and this is just a routine that helps us. So we hope you guys got something out of it, whether you do this and you're like, oh my gosh, like I do this too, or like, oh, maybe I should add this and see if my study routine um, is a little bit more tolerable. I do apologize if my energy was like on E2, cause obviously like I'm not feeling the best. Like, the washer machine is on and it's not gonna <laughs> shut off. <laughs> With that being said, let us know what you guys wanna see next week. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I always forget to tell people to subscribe. <laughs>
said to subscribe. I know. But we've been growing like crazy. So we will see you guys next week. Thank you for the support. We love you guys.